Where is he? Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Is that... Is that Grizzly? Let me step into the captain's chair here. Welcome back to Just Roll With It. The uh, the show after the... No, 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 this is just the show. show. This is just the show. Welcome back to Just Roll With It. I'm Grizzly, and I'm the DM on this wonderful um, ship that I stole. (laughs) <laughs> and these are the guys! I'm the Bisley, men, and I play Chip boys. on this ship that got stolen. I'm just along for the ride. Hey, I'm Condi, and I play Jay next to Chip on this ship that we're along the ride for. Just, What's just up, here. guys? I'm Charlie Slimesicle, and I play Gillian Tide Strider. By the time you hear this, I will be dead for sure. <laughs> Let's fucking go! Nothing <laughs> is illegal here! Before we start, I obviously have to say, the reason we're able to do this is thank to our wonderful patrons over at patreon.com slash just, just roll, roll with it. it. Just, so, just, just roll with it. Do you it. up. <laughs> you <laughs> up. And you should feel bad about that. I'm in the captain's seat. I get to control you. I get to control your what? characters. I get to control works. you and me. What? And I get to control that we're going to start now. Make my head explode right now. All right, motherfucker. Here we go. Boom. Ah! Oh, Jesus Whoa. Christ! Put it back! Put it back! <laughs> All right. Oh. I saw God. Good luck with that one, editor. She's she? awesome. She? Whoa. Nice. Whoa. High five. All right. Can I get one of Think those about it. No. Earn it. Okay. Ready? <laughs> no. As I'll ever be. Even if you're not ready, we'll just have to roll with it. Go! Where we last left off, the three of you, Chip, Jay, and Gillian, captains of the Riptide Pirates, left the island of Noctis at its city, mm-hmm. Twilight Town. Uh, and what? The, is, what was the city? Twi- Twilight Town. How, say it one more time for me. Twilight Town. Can you understand what he's saying? No. In Twilight the day, <laughs> dude, I can't. I can't. <laughs> In the days following, you met a man named Ichabod adrift at sea and assisted him with his ride to Liquidus fighting a large mimic ship on the way. Once at this Hydropolis city in a large crater-esque bowl in the ocean, you met Felipe, a little frog guy who (laughs) offered to guide you around his home. Felipe led you around the waterways and deeper into the city to the Grand Temple of the Moon, where you seek to relieve Chip of his nightmarish curse. You met a priest named Marcos, and together with the Grand Priestess, plus the other clerics of the city, A high-level remove curse ritual was performed on Chip. This took all of you into his greatest nightmares, where the magic of the moon gave him some control and awareness. First surrounded by tombstones of loved ones, then attacked by a monstrous Arlen. And then together you all fought demonized versions of yourselves and Ollie aboard the Midnight Rose, the ship of the Black Rose Pirates. With Felipe's... (laughs) Final anti-matter rifle blast. <laughs> <laughs> the nightmares were over, and Chip was freed from his curse. On your way through the temple. With plans to hit the zoo, <laughs> Gillian passed by a mural that depicted the history of the world and how he was not only the chosen one, but that he was chosen by the goddess of the moon. Mama. Lunadea. And so, the journey... Continues. That was the coolest zoo I've ever been in in my life. Oh my god. Those poor birds, though. I can't yeah. believe we finally went monkey mode. We pick back <laughs> up as you guys are exiting the zoo of Hydra of uh, with Felipe of um, of Liquidus, and uh, you're talking about your your fun adventures at the zoo. But on your mind, still Gillian is that mural. Can I roll to see how many animals I broke out? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Roll just a d20. Okay. No animal handling. Fuck. Seventeen. It's not bad. We've destroyed this city. <laughs> Felipe goes, You think some of the birds are going to survive, though, right? I can't believe After you the- let 17 animals out of the zoo. That's crazy, <laughs> man. I know. And can you believe they were the following 17 animals? They like go across the screen. <laughs> 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 oh, no, it's like a psycho, man. No, I don't think those birds are going to be okay. 
Wait, so like, we let them out and then they got eaten by a bear. Well, I probably shouldn't let the bear out at the same <laughs> oh, I time. I didn't see the bear. Is this what the chosen one does? Like, is that is that what you do? Is that sometimes? Yeah. I mean, he like lets animals out when destiny some... calls. So you're yeah, for real, the chosen one. That's crazy. That oh was... yeah, no, that's me for sure. Oh, roll sure. persuasion check. <laughs> On saying I'm the chosen one. Oh shit. Natural twenty. Whoa! <laughs> the second I say that, a bird flies overhead. A bear jumps up and eats it. <laughs> Felipe looks at you like his his beady oh, eyes yes. get wider and wider as they sort of like bulge out of his head. Oh my fucking god, dude, that's crazy. Guys, I feel like I no. just sold that really well for hey, some we, reason. Yeah. No, that was really <laughs> no, cool. That was... Will you sign my forehead? Yes. Then uh, uh, I signed Felipe's uh, forehead and permanent marker. It, like, there you go, I got a marker. Because his, his skin is so like oily and amphibious, it's kind of like also a little poisonous. Why do we keep drawing stuff on Felipe? It just, it just kind of like like waters away down his eyes, like he's crying mascara. It's in oh, your oh eyes, God, I'm sorry. Dude. I'm in your eyes. <laughs> oh, this is, this is the best day of my life. I went inside your head, it blew a guy's head off. And now I'm hanging out with the motherfucking chosen one. Hey, right? no, the chosen one is hanging out with motherfucking Man. Felipe. Oh. And you guys are hanging out with Chip. Swag. No. Yeah. You can't even I'm, breathe water, dude. I did my best, okay? I, I tried. Oh, well, that's good. I can try again. Well, no, I don't I believe you. I try again. I can breathe water. You can? Yeah. Absolutely. Can you teach me? Ooh. No. Okay. So, sit, sit up. Where are we going? What do you want to see next? Um... Uh, is there another zoo? What's, no. No? No. Um, They're never going to open another one after what we did. No, here. probably not. Why doesn't everyone hop on, a, hop on a steed of their choosing and we can go back what to if, the temple? I have some questions. What if we started our own zoo? We could start a zoo, Felipe. We are oh, a zoo. Uh, hey, roll, roll a perception check, man. <laughs> <laughs> chip, for Chip. Yes, wait, for Chip. What wait, what? Roll, roll, roll a perception check. Roll? Yeah. Am I on fire? No, you're good. You're you're good. good. I'm trying to roll, start rolling. Man. 17. Oh, Felipe goes, yeah, where's the kid we were with? And you notice all the oh, no he's right around. Around. <laughs> You notice he's no one around you. Chip, now. he's right. Chip, do you think the bear got him? No, he's a. Can I make a nature check to see if Ali has re-entered the food chain? A nature check? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, right. like like okay. Like, yeah. Find, look for some droppings and yeah. see if there's like clothes of Ali in them or something. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I got a natural one. He's gone, guys. <laughs> no idea. Um, he's back in the water cycle. I don't know where he went. Oh, maybe uh, one of the birds the water got in the yeah, sky. You, you, Is there birds with Ollie? You can roll a perception check for birds with Ollie. 11 plus uh, 5, 16. You look in the sky, and you see a strangely still, like like an off-colored cloud that fits in with the other clouds, but there's something off about it because of how perceptive you are. But there are no birds and no Ollie. Hey, guys, there's no birds or Ollie up there. But... Oh, wait, shit. Hold on. I think I remember. Oh. Look at that cloud. What? Look at that cloud. Nope. <laughs> Who cares? Well, that's no, crazy. Where's Ollie? Uh, Ollie. 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 I think we're going to need to. I want to look around for Ollie. We're going to need to find the animals and okay. get them all to regurgitate what they've last <laughs> yeah, eaten. Yeah, roll, roll. I don't think he got eaten. Here's what, here's what I'll say. You can either roll history for your memory or investigation for looking around. Investigate. Wait, what's better? I don't know, but it's your destiny to do either. Investigation. Whoa. Okay. That's so. fun. I miss doing that. 26. 26 for investigation is crazy. Yeah, for investigation. <clears throat> Chip, for some reason, uh, as as you start looking around for Ollie, you scream his name out. You start to recollect, like, Where, where's the last time I saw him? Where he went to the zoo with us, right? He saw the he saw the the birds, the bees. Not the, the birds and bees. No. It's the only bee. I explained it. I explained it. <laughs> you didn't to him. you didn't notice when it happened. But now you remember. Ollie slipped away into the bear cage. Oh, when Why, Ollie? was freeing the, the, the sort of like sea bear otters, Ollie disappeared at that moment. Okay. Fuck. Um, okay, so I, so I think he might be in the, in the bear cage, but I'm not like 100% sure. I'm really hoping, hoping that I dreamed that, but also he's not here right now. And everybody's looking at me like it's I okay. just no, no, let no. the small boy yeah. on our ship chip, chip. Fly, fly, fly away into a, into a bear cage. Chip, it's okay. Chip. We let the bear yeah. out. We let the bear out. Man no, 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 we fucking didn't let the bear out. He didn't want to leave, remember? We opened the gate. And he oh, shit, you're, you're right. right. And that really says okay. a lot, doesn't it? That, like, he had everything oh, no. he needed there. He'd been taught to stay. These bears love eating kids, man. God damn it. <laughs> I start running over to the, to the bear cage. 
You guys follow? Wally! Yeah, I follow. All right. So Felipe, a, how do they know that? <laughs> you guys make a mad dash back to uh, in, into the middle of the zoo, which is uh, very extravagant. Lots of water animals. Lots of water-based. Uh, not yeah, an aquarium. We know, man. It's we like a zoo. Here, right? <laughs> Whatever, bro. Anyways, you get to um, you get to back to where the bear cage was, and you see there's a crowd of people surrounding the sort of display glass, and you sort of like break through. Go ahead and roll. Excuse me, uh, uh, come into out of the way. Roll dexterity. Sure, sure, sure. Roll with advantage. Okay. It's a big um, crowd, very packed of people. They're all trying to like, look over each other and get to the, the glass. 18. Okay, so easy enough, you start ducking between the crevices and finding the spots with, in the crowd, like you're at a fucking concert and you're trying to nice. like get to the front row. You just break through and you get to the glass <laughs> and you see right there a snarling kind of like sea bear with like that, the, the, the sort of like almost like fish ears, little mm-hmm. gills. It's wet like a sea otter and it's crawling towards Ollie, who is just fucking me, coming through. Cutie. Coming through, we gotta get him. Oh no, look at that cute He's little guy. He's gonna get me some um, this is snarling while Ollie, like slowly creeps make yourself forward. look big. Ollie, what? use the sword. No, Ollie, this is the one where you play dead. <laughs> no, make yourself look big. No, you Fight have, it you have the sword. You have that sword. Use the sword. <laughs> Don't use the sword. <laughs> he rolls a, a six and he just faints. <laughs> I want. Like he just fully faints. Is there out. a way to get in? Uh, there is the see? gate you guys opened. I'd like to. I'd like to go over to the gate. Gil, we gotta get over to the gate. Come on. Can you? Can you fight a bear? Have you ever fought a bear? Uh, no, we don't need to fight it. We can tame you it. You guys rush in and <laughs> the bear- taming a bear! <laughs> the bear, as soon as he notices that you guys the have walked into the, <laughs> the, the the crate or whatever, or the large, you know, environment for the bear mm-hmm. to stay at, it gets on all fours and it is this like almost 15 to 20 foot tall it's okay, giant guys. bear. With, I got uh, this. With claw See, with sharp <laughs> and teeth oh. like sharks. <laughs> Okay. Jay, with land bears, you get on, you, you make yourself as big as possible. With sea bears, you need to get on all fours and get as low as possible. <laughs> okay. Get oceanic. True. I believe you. You're my only sea friend. <laughs> you see ice start to form around its chest and its arms as it sort of like crackles up. Whoa. So I get on all fours and start crawling towards it and reach my hand out towards it. As, as Jay is Are being feral, I want to like try and use that diversion to take Ollie. Okay, Jay, roll animal hand. Yeah, I'm trying to tame it. And then you roll. Oh, that's not bad. You just 19. Do, just do sleight of hand. Okay. Sleight of hand, sure. I'll roll, I'll roll again. Oh my God. 13. All right, 13 yeah, enough is to grab Ollie sleight without it noticing. Cause can it's really... I tickle its special spot to give him advantage? <laughs> you can roll animal handling again. I can, okay. Can I, I tickle its special spot. Uh, Still 19. Huge. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, it, it rolled really low. So, okay. <laughs> Jay, as you get on all fours, and Gillian, you get on all fours as well, and you sneak up and you sort of scratch behind its like hind leg, and you reach your hand out to put your hand on its chest, and the ice starts to melt, and it becomes <gasps> this water that drenches the fur. It's exposed its heart to you, Jay. And then, at that moment, <laughs> so it makes a sort of like bears, like, <clears throat> and then it like shakes off the ice water and it gets on all fours and it starts nuzzling into your hand. Oh yeah, I, I give it. I give the bear some belly rubs. And then you hear in the back, this crowd erupt in a cheer. Wow! Oh, it's so like a bunch heavy. of claps. Everybody think they, they think it's like a show or something. Congratulations, Jay! You've <laughs> mated for life. It's <laughs> been what? <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck, dude! That was great, man. Awesome. All right. Well, you, you really are awesome with us. Thank God you knew about the secret about getting on all fours. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's big. Well, uh, I guess, I mean, he's bonded with you forever now. If you leave, uh, he will go into a, into a bloodlust blindly, <laughs> Not taking true. out everything nearby. He just kind of uh, waltzes back and, and well, dives okay. into this little pond. I, think, you know? I was thinking of a different one. <laughs> dives into this little pond, pond where he can, like, you know, fish for food and stuff. Oh, uh, Felipe goes, oh, we better get out of here because we're totally fucking it. criminals at the zoo right now, so we better do it. Uh, yeah, yeah, just let me pick him up. What? I'm trying to pick up Ollie over my shoulder oh. as he's fainted. Oh, oh, he's, yeah, not, I mean, he's not that heavy. You got it. Does the <laughs> does the belt not make him heavier? No. Okay. No. I thought it did. It just makes his strength more. All right. I pick yeah. him up. I pick him up over my shoulder. Yeah. You guys all dart out of the zoo once again. You're back in front, uh, sort of near the central part of the city. What are uh, what are you what are you looking to do now? Um, we're going to the shops. Yeah. Uh, is there any any other eco terrorism? I'm gonna look back to, to the me? sky oh. again and look at the funky cloud. Uh, you look back up and it's blended it way more at this point. Guys, I swear there's something about that cloud up there. Jay, I don't care about the cloud. Oh, no, oh, like, oh that, 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 you talk about the cloud up there? Yeah, the, the, the funky one. Oh, that's yeah. the, that's the nimbus. Well, no, that's a. Uh, that's actually not a cloud. What? No way, man. What is that's, it? Uh, that's a ludicil. 
What the, What did you just say to me? That's uh, not a word. It just means it's just sun city. Bless you. Yeah, if you're looking for the Grand Temple of the Sun, it's up there. Like I kind of want to see the Grand Temple of the Sun. It does sound pretty cool. Yeah, it's that like that a, sounds cool. Wait, how do we uh, get up there? Well, uh, there's the uh, there's the Great Chimney, like we like to call it. It just kind of shoots you up there. Great chimney. Now, do we like poof? Uh, do we just get Whoa. shot out like a cannon or? Yeah, in a big tube. That's awesome. It, like, that points, sounds really cool. Yeah, we it need points, to do that. It, points, it like blends in because it's like a really clear Invisalign kind of tube. Oh. And he's like, oh, wait for it. And then like the sun shines on it a little bit. And it illuminates a little glossy. There it is. Right that's there. weird. That's been there the entire time. We've wow. never seen that giant tube. Hey, yeah, so maybe, <laughs> maybe we should take Ollie back to the ship. We took him to the zoo. Yeah. And he got lost and attacked by a bear. There's wild animals in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is he your son, man? You're a terrible father. What the hell, Felipe? Actually, well, no, he's like not my is. son. He's I our small like boy that we keep on the ship. I mean, oh. speaking of, you know, him being a son. Wait. Why don't we... Wait a second. What? Are you criminals? <laughs> you couldn't have the... Dude, we're pirates. <laughs> There's a bug. Hold on. Felipe, you're a frog. Eat it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> when are we going to bring him back to Zero, speaking of him being a son? Um, you know, just like... We can, uh... So we can just... And then we can, um... And then after that, we maybe bring it back. Now, you know what? I'm down for the long haul, baby. So you want to go up to the... Yeah, Felipe's yeah, Felipe. down. Felipe. I'm with you. I'll but take you there. Felipe, when I die, you're the new chosen one. <laughs> <laughs> you mean that? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, is that how it works? It is now. Why can't I be the chosen one? You're not Felipe. Look at his... You're, you're not Felipe, and you're the chosen one. I know, and that was... And that is a great shame. <laughs> I'm Chip, great, right? That's like mistake. arguably maybe even better. He goes silent. Yeah. Like, just fucking shocked. Yeah. And there's no word from Felipe for a while. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. Maybe we should bring him back. He nods, like, ferociously. Like, <laughs> you weren't there. When, last time we talked about it, he was just so sad. And, like, he didn't want to go. Yeah, and... but he's, like, 12 years old. <laughs> yeah. Of course he's going to be but sad. But he was really big for a while. Yeah, because you gave yeah, him a well, well, cursed yeah. magical object. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, I mean, there's going to be a point where we had to bring plan? him back. Where are we? Uh, you go back to the ship? Well, we gotta. All right, we fine. gotta do the thing with Apple. We gotta figure figure out what's going on with her. We have a we have a bird, Felipe. What? Um. Oh. We do have Apple. a bird. <laughs> <laughs> Spit her out, Felipe. <laughs> he didn't eat her. I mean, I didn't eat her. What kind of bird is he? Blue. She, like, she, How like, many do you have in there? She like, flies over, lands on Jay's shoulder. Yeah. Nice. Uh, we're supposed to unmorph oh. the bird. Bird is yeah, not actually like, a bird. Going to it's, got turned into a bird, going to become not a bird again. No, you're full of shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, he sounds crazy when he say it. Hey, Felipe, this bird actually is not a bird. Word. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> well, he's the chosen one, man. What do you have against me? Bird, man? Is it he's, that I can't breathe water? Yeah, like, hey, yeah. you don't have gills. Felipe, how about instead of making fun gills. of me for not breathing water, Your you just help me breathe actually. water? Mm -hmm. We could be a team, Felipe. I mean, well, and I lean forward. We could be unstoppable. If I could breathe water. With his power of breathing air and your power of breathing water. <laughs> Think about it. I could, I could breathe role persuasion with disadvantage. <laughs> Why disadvantage? It's because. Because Jay fucked me up? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's an unnatural one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's 12 total. Oh. I'll think about it, dog. <laughs> I mean, I'm like the chosen one in, in trading, cause so, right? Uh, no, but when I die, <laughs> yes. Well, who's going to trade me? Nobody. It's your destiny I, to find out. I'll, I'll bite the bullet there. I'll train you. I, I've learned a few things. No, that's a bad oh, idea. Oh, really? You like, do you know how to fight? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You want to throw down right now? <laughs> I, I kind of got to take care of the small boy that we keep on our ship, but... Right, no, yeah. for sure, man. All right, let's go. All right, it'll lead you back to the dock, and he leads you back to the dock, and we get there. All right. No, I wanna, <laughs> we'll, we'll, go, we'll go back to... Uh, yeah, you, you head there uh, um, just I, through the, the, the different sort of, like... Um, if you think of the water city from Avatar, this is very similar in cool. that way, but mm -hmm. not as much ice cool. and snow. Awesome. Uh, and you get back there, like, cross bridges that, like, uh, cross the, the river waterways or whatever. I wanted to talk to talk to Jay for a moment before we... Yeah, get on your way there. Just you conversation. That, yeah. Maybe just like one more adventure with Ollie. One more? Just one more. I mean, like. I mean, you promised we're going to bring him back? Of course. I don't know. He's. 
I like having him around. No, it's nice having him around. Don't get me wrong. I like Ollie a lot. But, you know, we kind of... He's... Took him away from his family and everything he loves and knows so that he could be on a pirate ship with yeah, us? Yeah, and I mean, mean, like, look that? at you. Not to be mean. I don't want to be mean to you. But look at you. You grew up on a pirate ship, and now you are a pirate, and arguably there's better things that are more productive to, like, <laughs> society that anybody could be doing than being a pirate. Okay, that's a, that's taking it a little far. We're pirates, and we're awesome. Right, yeah, Julian? but, like, I, I don't yeah. feel like I've contributed. Yeah. Okay. Wait, what, what's going on? <laughs> Don't worry about it. I just needed you to back me up. Okay, up I got you. Nice. I do want better for Ollie. You know, he deserves better. He doesn't deserve, you know, all this, but like, he's cool. Chip, he deserves a regular childhood. Yeah. And it's hard to get one of those out here. I mean, like, me and you, we can't go back, but you can still have a good life you know a, a good childhood something and maybe this will just be a good memory for him but i don't think it's what he needs to grow up with obviously well let's at least take him where we're going and then we take him home he won't be happy about it but his mom will be <laughs> yeah yeah one more what picture. are you looking at gil Gillian is currently, he has opened a book and he is writing down a full training and diet regimen for Felipe. <laughs> As you're writing and you just sort of like glance up after backing up Chip, he tries to hide it, but all these eyes are open and then he shuts it real quick as soon as you notice. Uh, all right, Riptide Pirates. Uh, actually, actually, there is no ship at the dock because... It's just me, Alphonse. <laughs> Where the fuck is our ship? Got us again, Alphonse. All right. <laughs> well, I actually I dropped it off somewhere in the town. Uh, the city uh -huh. is getting repaired. How long is that going to take again? A week. Fuck. Shit. Fuck. Yeah, so uh, uh, I, think, uh, I think Griffin is uh, at one of the nearby restaurants or taverns in... Um, um, yeah, I'll probably meet him there. Is there anything that we should uh, do? We need help with. Alphonse, are you looking to get tubes today? Come again. High pressure suckage. Velocity, one direction. Suction force. What air are you? Pressure. Sun god. I don't have um, whatever you humans, humanoids have that let you feel things, so I don't benefit from this suckage. Suck, I think right? he's thinking about something else. Alphonse, we're talking about a tube that shoots you into the sky, but the like old, to a place. The old Blossom Boss spoke of these tubes. <laughs> I pick up oh, Alphonse, oh hang God, on, your, your, your mind, it fell into the gutter, and I pick up a little chip from the fucking gutter. Just take it back out. Oh, right, like air travel. <laughs> uh, where are we going? Um, well, yeah. there's a. Am I coming with you? So. Are we broke? We're broke now. I'm oh. pretty sure uh, Griffin's over at a at a restaurant. We'll we'll go get you some food and then. I'm I'm not hungry. Um, you don't want to hang out with Griffin for a little bit? Cause we're gonna going up the the funny tube, and you just got attacked by a bear. I think it's better if you chill out for mm. this one. Just kind of. Okay. Take a load off. But we'll bring you on the next one. I promise. Okay. Hey, I promise. We're going to have an adventure. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, where did you say Griffin was? Well, he's in uh, nearest tavern. I believe it's called the uh, Shell City. Okay. Shell City. It's weird. Weird. City in a city. Shell City. Yeah, do they have, like, part-time jobs in the Sun City? Oh, well, kind of, but for pirates, I don't know, maybe, maybe some bounty hunting, maybe some uh, little rough up the criminals. I was thinking maybe, like, maybe, like, cooking a meal for once. I don't know if you want to leave your crew inside of a restaurant to wash dishes. Yeah, and stuff. okay. Uh, Alphonse, maybe you guys can um, go out and try and make some money? <laughs> that would be awesome, yeah. It'd be really cool. All right, so and we then do hide it really the, well, away from Gillian. Make sure, and I mean this, Gillian never sees this money. We can try and acquire some funds while you were, the captains are away. 
You're looking for a... Uh, we need a legitimate business to funnel our pirate money into. <laughs> like okay. money laundering. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty that, much. That doesn't matter here because it's not illegal to steal. Well, it is illegal to steal, but pirates don't give a shit from what I'm aware. Right, but we have to pay taxes so we can claim the income and so we can- Yeah. Pirates don't pay taxes, that's- What? what? <laughs> pirates don't you know pay what? taxes? I think there's something wrong with that. We need to be the first pirates to pay taxes. Yeah, it'll take over the world in waves. I really just want them to start a lemonade stand. <laughs> I want to come back and I want to see Alphonse squishing lemonade. Do you want me to tell Griffin that we're going to start a lemonade stand? Yes. Look him in the eyes and say, the captain's ordered us. <laughs> to start a lemon. Okay, maybe that doesn't sound right. Is there another business that Griffin would be like really into? Bounty hunting? Booze. No, I mean, he Booze just kind of does that on his own. Griffin's hard lemonade. Griffin Claw. Mm. Griffin Claw. Griffin Claw? <laughs> I like that. Um, Alphonse salutes you guys. And is he taking Ollie? Yeah. Ollie uh, grabs his hand, like they're holding, like he's holding his hand, and just walks with him away. Doesn't say much. Um, and they go and find Griffin to, I guess, start a hard a seltzer, lemonade <laughs> a hard lemonade yeah. empire here in Liquidus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I let you know how that goes. All right, so uh, well, Felipe goes. Uh, right, on, are we going up the tube or what? Uh, Fuck I, yeah, we're going. Up the yeah, tube. we're going up the tube. I actually yeah, think no. I have a, just something I want to check in before I get. What could be more right. than going up the tube? Fully yeah. sucked. So yeah, so cool. Chosen man. All right, what are we doing? Yeah, no, I, I can I can meet up with you guys. I can figure out the tube. What? I mean, how hard could it be? It's just No, just, let's we gotta stick together, man. Me and you, geez. I have a lot of questions, I think, still for the priests at the at the Temple of the Moon. Oh. Did you uh Oh what up, player? Let's get over there. Well you yeah, didn't want us to come or anything? You just wanna No, I didn't want to hold you up because I don't know Dude, we're just going up a tube. That's like nothing. Uh, it's it is big though. It's a big tube. It's a big tube, but like it's less big if there's less people. No, Gillian, don't worry about it. It's we'll wait for you. Thank you, Jay. Chip, I want to go. But... Let's start a competing <laughs> lemonade stand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys going together or going apart? I I would I would go with Gillian. I would want to go. Yeah, I mean, sure. I'd probably wait outside if you didn't want us to be inside. But all right, Gillian, follow me. Okay, I here we go. I it was oh, not look how they're crossing. It looks like they're falling a family. <laughs> I feel like these things shouldn't be able to roam. That's all right, big guy. No, they, they aren't able to roam. <laughs> we oh, we did this. Yeah. This oh, is okay. <laughs> Back to the cathedral-like um, Temple of the Moon. You walk inside. What are you looking for? I Marcos looking is for... still there. Oh, you're back. Greetings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, greetings. All right. I, yeah, I flashed my fucking tits again. <laughs> all right, awesome. yeah. How was the zoo? Still doing it. It'll never be the same. I just wanted to see if I could uh, speak to a, like the big moon priest, just about some questions I had. About How dare you? I uh, assume I'll get her. Hold on a moment. So do you, you don't want us to go in with you? Maybe we just wait outside? That would be really nice. Cool. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, sure. Um, Jay? Yeah. Let's go steal some stuff. Lemons. For the lemonade stand. Lemons. Lemons for the lemonade stand. I'm yeah. whispering to you. I should be whispering into the microphone. Yeah, I keep, I fucked that up a lot. Did I go with the, you want me to say it? I'll Felipe, just, uh, I you just keep doing listen, what you're doing, man, because you're doing it perfectly. Felipe, you, you should come with us. You could, actually, no, I'm, I'm all right. I got to confess some sins. How long do you think that'll take? A few minutes, maybe. A few minutes is a long That's time. That's a lot of sins. <laughs> As you guys are heading out the door, you would hear... And you would see the grand priest, or the or Marcos goes, the grand priestess will see you now. Moon up. All right, man. Go look at that. All right, Moon good up. luck, Gil. Let's go steal some things. We're gonna get some McLovin's. So you head behind that uh, big kind of podium, uh, same place that you were heading down to get to, Chip's chamber <laughs> of nightmare fuel, <laughs> and um. You're basically led right back to that hallway that has the long mural and standing. In front of it is the Grand Priestess in all of her glory and glamour. Wait, did we get her name? No, haven't asked. Uh, uh, what is your name, Grand Priestess? <laughs> we forgot to ask. Well, you literally purged the curse from our best friend. I'm usually kept separate from such labels. Work-life balance, I get it. 
I mean, me personally, I like to keep my life stuff also from being the chosen one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tough balance to strike sometimes between, you know, your personal relationships and following the prophecy the elders have pushed upon you your entire life that you're reading about here also and trying to learn more about. And I think the moon is my mom. <laughs> <laughs> what, are, what would you call priests instead of their name? I know you call like some priest father. Father, and mother. I don't know if you call them mother. Oh, you call her mother. <laughs> or mommy. Yep. <laughs> no. I can see it. That spark. Oh, for real? With my abilities, I sense that touch. That divine touch. The imprint of the goddess. So like. So it is no mistake. Oh. I believe you. Chosen one. Cool. So the moon. So the moon is my mom. Whatever brings you more comfort. There was discourse. There was conflict between the two. And it was Luna Dea, the goddess of the moon, who chose a champion that would settle their discourse. And um, what? criteria was there for that so i just wondered if it was just the circumstances of birth or if there was maybe something else she saw we can ponder and question believe or not believe have faith or distrust all of that choice is given to us that freedom the people above the ones who worship the other side. They gain their faith in the light. Where we gain our faith in the moon and the sea. My, my friends and I were actually planning on getting sucked up there in a minute. Are they going to have a, a problem with me? or? At the moment, you are a treaty. A bridge. An understanding. There is no reason for us to fight, because it is not our fight. We have similar, similar ideals. But our source of life is a different energy. What are your ideals? We wish to not have these four oceans separated. To not be even separated by land, but to all be under the same current, to be whoever you wish to be. And it changes like the phases of the moon. Except me, I'm the chosen one. Uh, even you can change. <laughs> Poggers. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> this is. This is. This is Pog. What do you mean, what? This has helped me a lot. I look forward to speaking with the other side of the coin on the other side of the tube. Thank you again for your time. Certainly. I hope you get all the knowledge you need. I will. I've got an appointment with the super shocky I've got to catch. Moon you later. Farewell, Gillian. Farewell. Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> and I run out and I'm going to try and catch up with them. Yeah, all right. Oh, also, Felipe is the chosen one if I die. All right, catch you later. <laughs> there you go. There's uh, You don't see it, but the camera would stop and rest on the, the Grand Priestess's face. And it's just a blank expression. Like, eyes go a little wider. <laughs> but there's still a soft smile, and it slowly fades to a straight face. And then she looks back at the mural. <laughs> and oh just shakes her head. That's so funny. All right, all right, all right. All right, I'm out. I'm done. That was what I wanted to do. Cool. What's this... nearby that I can steal? Like, I don't know what's um, nearby this, no, this The moon temple. church's lemon reserves. They're all <laughs> empty. What happened? You would be able to walk uh, a bit down the block here and get to some sort of, like, uh, uh, split by a lane of water with just bridges that, you know, uh, 
bridge the gap, literally. And there are market stalls or awnings set up that just extend from the buildings that flank both sides of that river. And there are crates and barrels, some people setting up like fruits and melons and lemons. pineapples and lemons. Okay. And there's a there's like a shopkeeper, like someone setting them up? Yeah, it's just an old hunchback, sort of rotund, a little bit of a beer gut belly of an old man. Jay, we've got to look for something out here that we can Shift, take. do you see it? In broad... Di- oh, my God. It's there. That is a... That is a full barrel of lemons. It is. He's oh. not even looking at it. Oh, no, there he goes. Yeah. Okay. We have to do this right. Yeah. And we have to look like we belong here. Uh-huh. Um, Listen, I have an idea. You use I your- also have an idea. Yeah, okay. Let's hear yours. Okay, so you use your bandana and turn it into a lemon. <laughs> That's not going to work because I'll be just a lemon wearing a bandana. I'll be just a really cool lemon. And like, that's cool in concept, but you wouldn't give your lemons to a lemon, huh? <laughs> Why not? Hear me out. Disease fruit. We're disease control. Disease control. We gotta okay. do di- I'm crying right now because the idea of the lemon with the bandana is... No, Jay, that's good. Keep crying. Keep crying. Okay. The lemons, the lemons are diseased and they, and they, okay, and they, make, you, gonna keep it, they make you cry. I'm going to keep crying. Just I'm going to go up. Keep the tears coming. Okay. Keep the tears coming. S- sir. Cry more. I, I'm, cry I'm, more. I'm, I'm going to the barrel. You're, ter- you're a terrible person. You're a terrible person. <laughs> Nobody loves you and everything you love will always leave you. Nothing meaningful will ever stick around in your life. Okay, that's good. Cry like that. Just follow my lead. <clears throat> I want to disguise myself to be me, but with a mustache. And I would like to approach. Excuse he's me, he's, old, old man. You, he's, sir. You, sir. Carrying the lemons. Uh, we, we, we're, uh, we're a part of the, the poison control uh, division of Raft. We actually need to take these lemons away from you. They are horribly poisoned. Look at this woman. Look at her horrible face and what's happened to her because of these lemons. We need to get these out of here right away. So if you'll just actually step back. These tears are because of your lemons. He's moving like a crate. I need you to, I need you to step away from the lemons. All right. Well, I'll roll a little persuasion. Deception, I mean. Performance or deception, not persuasion. Performance? Or deception. 15. What? Jay, Jay's crying. Can that help me? Can I, can I help? Oh, roll an advantage. <laughs> I already rolled, but it's fine. Fuck. That's not even worse. didn't help. <laughs> Oh, my bad, sir. All right, give me a second. I'm just unloading my lemons that I have in my No, you need, to, you need to get away from these lemons right now, as they will kill you. Wait, how, how did she get the lemons? I haven't even started selling because yet, Because she, she, was, she was there with the distribution of the lemons. Sir, you had to understand. It's not even... Oh, I didn't even eat the lemons yet. Oh, shit. All right, all right. You need to step back. Oh, here you go. It's actually, actually poison is, this your, is this your cart here? Am I going to get expelled from the city? No, no, you? you'll be perfectly fine. No, but Listen, you do. You well, actually have to pay a fine of 100 gold. Who's your... <laughs> oh, no, dear. no, you know what? We'll waive the fee. Roll persuade. Roll deception. <laughs> Uh, deception, it's 12. A hundred fucking gold! No, listen, we, <laughs> right, will, um... we will waive the fee just for you. Listen, you seem like a nice guy. What's your name? Um, what is my name? Jobbert. Jobbert. <laughs> Jobbert, listen, you seem like a really nice guy, and I don't want to get you in trouble with the city. Frankly, yeah. it's a lot of paperwork for me to file, and, you know, you don't want to do that. Paperwork. I don't want to do that. Is this your cart here? It's mine. That's yeah. all mine. So, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna need to get these other fruits off of the cart. Help us get the lemons back on the cart. Now we're gonna have to commandeer that yeah. and take them away. Have you ever heard uh, of, of a, of a, of a right. seizure? Of a seizure? Um, we're gonna lawfully seize all of your all of your equipment. Yeah. yeah, but we'll leave you the rest of the fruit. You know, you're free to you're free to continue. It's only that. the lemons. Yeah, yeah. Sadly, it's just a a severe lemon poisoning that a lot mm-hmm. of people are experiencing. God. I fucking knew it, that guy at the distribution yeah, center. Yeah, gotta... well, it was it was Clark. That no, it was you Gustavo. Comments? You gotta Gustavo. get that guy, Gustavo. Oh, oh. I knew he that was he's spitting yeah. in my lemons. I you always got, knew. You gotta stay away from Gustavo. He's, he's. I just couldn't say anything because. No, you know I'm what? You know what? We're gonna man. make sure Gustavo's fired. Really, like we don't like him either. We don't like the guy. Excellent. Lock that man up. He's poisoning It'll this happen. poor lady. It'll be. It's yeah. done. It's done. It's done. Um, All right. Yeah, uh, just uh, so help us get these, help us get these like fruits off of your cart and get the lemons back on. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. Should we, should we like help him maybe? Oh, 
I got it. I got it. You rest your. Uh, no, I go and I help him. I, <laughs> all right, yeah, you get them all on the cart. All the lemons are back in the boxes. All right, uh, I guess I'll back up. I go home for today. Uh, yeah, you just go on home. Go about your day. We're gonna get these lemons out of here, and right. we'll. Uh, thank you so much for being cooperative. We won't. We'll keep this to ourselves yeah, with right. the city yeah. as long as you do the same. And what did you, you know, say I your would, name was, sir? Uh, my name is Morgan. Morgan Harrison. Uh, I work. I work for the for Raft. Morgan Harrison. Morgan Harrison. Morgan Harrison. I'm gonna write that down. Right. Yeah. Right. Go ahead and write that down. Morgan Harrison. <laughs> All yeah. right. Go ahead. Roll one more deception check. <laughs> Natural twenty. Oh! Morgan. It's the mustache. All right. Well, this I'll, is not um, real, and he looks exactly. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna. You saved my career today. I'm gonna give you five stars. You know what? I'll go call the government right now. Make sure you get a promotion. You know what? Make sure you call them when you get home. Okay. Make I'm sure going home. make sure that you wait. And don't bring it up to the city because you don't want the city on your tail. Right. Really? Really, it's just us. We're trying to be nice to Do you. Do I trying get to make compensated sure for this? Do you get compensated? Yeah. You keep your business. We're making sure that you keep your business. You're We're not so gonna tell right. anybody. I don't even know what I'm talking about. All right, all right. I'll be out of your hair now. All, all right. right. Thank you so much. See you later. Lemon Empire. What are you going to do with all these lemons? We're like, we get on the cart, start taking it away, and we high five on the way out. <laughs> I want to go find... Let's walk in the opposite I wanna, direction. I want to go back up to the, to the front of the book. You think we should go pick up Gil? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, probably. How I think we, you'd like to get on the lemon business. He'd get in on the lemon business. How do we explain the lemons? We found them. <laughs> we saved an old man. We and saved he, an old and man, we got yeah, lemons. yeah. And he gave us lemons, yeah. Technically true, we saved his business just now. We did. I walk out. <laughs> you would you, bump what in. What did you do? Yeah, you bump into each other about midway. I'm, I'm looking at him with like the biggest grin on my face. Lemons. <laughs> lemons. What is the plan with all of these lemons? Hop in, I'll tell you. Okay. Hey, Felipe. <laughs> he actually exits the temple right after Gillian a few moments later after you see you meet back up. Ugh. Oof, he's like sweating. Oh, man. You good? That yeah, take I'm a lot ready. out of you? I'm ready to go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, like, we got all these lemons. With all wow. these lemons. With you every single one of these lemons, you, we can make lemonade for well over a year and a half. You, can't, you can't take all those up the tube. Well, we're not going to take them to the tube. We're going to take them to the, to the guys. And they're you gonna know make what? It they probably oh. are so hot up oh, there. Right. Atop in the Sun Temple, they haven't always beaten down on them. You know what I bet they don't have? What? Ooh. Fucking lemonade. Lemonade. <laughs> lemonade. Here's right. what we're gonna do. We're gonna attach the tube to the lemon cart and send every single one. <laughs> no, but Go we can't up. send the lemons up there because then we would have to make the lemons up there. And think about how it would be you to know, run a business up there. I bet it you're be right. Let's <laughs> stick <laughs> a juicer to the other end of the tube yes. so that we have a lemonade fountain. Exactly. We yes. will save them all. Think Here. about it. If we start producing the lemonade in a more poor place and then we bring it to the rich place, it'll be perfect for profits. You know what's really funny? Yes. It's like this in my head, this is like breaking bad with lemons. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go see how the crew's faring. Felipe, can you start sorting the lemons? Oh, uh, all right. 90% of these lemons are bad. Yeah, just chuck out the bad ones. Okay, it dumps a crate in the ocean. Whoa, no, okay, no, no, like... <laughs> you lost a crate. We still need to make a profit. All right, fine, all right. We can't sell people bad right, lemons. We, uh, we can sell I'll, them okay lemons. All right, don't, we Guys, to, I have a plan. God, Listen, God, if God, you're yeah. planning on selling these people bad lemons, I'm gonna need to seize all of your lemons. We need to find the old man again and sell him his lemons <laughs> back. <laughs> We can't. No, we can't do that. All right. So you head down the the city streets. I have no fucking idea what's going on. <laughs> you head down the city man. streets, uh, crossing the bridges and, and past the buildings, and you get to Shell City, which is this. Um, uh, all the buildings are like most places, and here, sort of shouldered together, and then uh, on this, you know, water grid, so a lot like Venice, and it kind of builds up towards the center where the zoo is. But you guys are more towards uh, like the middle section, and you get to this big building that has a giant shell. Uh, above the door that says city on it and you walk in and it's this uh, very purple aquarium themed or aquatic themed um, purple blues and whatnot bar slash dining area you would see immediately griffin and alphonse sort of like going back and forth in the corner in the dark corner like two very shady npcs <laughs> 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 and uh yeah that's what you come into hey crew <clears throat> I'll hold out the lemon. Check the goods. Griffin slams his hand on the desk as soon as he sees you and then stands up and walks over with like this furrowed brown and goes, What is that? 
It's a lemon. <laughs> you brought me on your crew to sell lemons. <laughs> no, we brought you to sell lemonade. <laughs> no, think about it this way, Griffin. <laughs> All that money you make bounty hunting, you can't pay taxes with that. <laughs> but a lemonade business. Now that's legit. I am more capable than selling lemonade. But have you ever really tried it? I'm supposed to fight shit. I'm not supposed to. And Griffin. boy, have we got the opponent for you. <laughs> I am going to point at the massive cart of lemons we have. Griffin, think about it as like diversifying your skill set. Whatever, man. <laughs> Great. And I throw up the lemon, lemon hoping he'll catch it. Yeah, he he removes a knife from his his like thigh and then like spins it around and c like sticks Whoa. it up and cuts through the lemon. So we've got the card out there. Some of them might be bad, but just kind of use your best judgment. I'm only doing this because I took your oath. Thank God we had to take that oath. Thank God. After this, Thank God. We better fight a huge monster. I'm going to find the biggest monster, so big that you could be ingested by it and cut your way out. <laughs> These are lemons. What? These are limes. Lemons, what? limes, it's kind of the same thing, right? <laughs> Lime juice. They're like significantly worse. What the fuck have you done? <laughs> it's like lemonade, limonade. It's like the limonade. same thing. Wow! Ollie grabs one and eats one, like just bites into it. Ollie, I wouldn't. <gasps> now that I think about it, I actually don't know what a lime is. I also want to eat a entire lime. Oh, oh no. Um. Uh no, I'm good. It just kind of, it just kind of burned a little bit yeah, when I ate no, it. Yeah, I was worried about you. All right, well, you, you, you try, you try. Okay, bet. Uh, does he just hand me a whole lemon? Like he just bit half of a lemon, like a lime. It's okay. A, it, cool. It's like a, you thought they were lemons because they have like they're a little yellow, but it's only on the edges, and the rest is green. Yeah, I mean, I just I called them what really everyone else called, called them. I don't really know. I Fruit, bite it. Round I ball. Are you gonna buy one? Yeah, thing. I, I want to actually. I mean, uh, I'll, I'll use that as the chaser, but I want to swallow a whole lime like a snake swallows a baby mouse, <laughs> okay. and just like fully like gulp it down. No chewing, no nothing. I'm talking like straight into the body to be converted into lime energy. Wow. Okay. Lime power. Yeah. So just roll it. Uh, Disadvantage Constitution saving throw. Why disadvantage? That seems like reasonable. Because it's a whole limit. It's a whole line. <clears throat> but it's I'm a lot. I'm it's very potent. Okay, fourteen is the first roll. Eleven is the same roll. That is a eighteen. Okay, it burns your throat just like Ollie described, but it's totally cool. You're good. <laughs> I start sweating green. <laughs> Holy shit, man! <laughs> yes. Are you okay? I He's feel it. Really serious about the lemonade empire. I say to the to the bartender, "Do you serve lime juice here?" Yeah, I mean, we can get some put together to squeeze a few. Nah, lines. no worries. I got it. Rawr! And then I, uh, and then whoa, I basically whoa, whoa, whoa. fill. Yeah, so it's like a. um. Hey, hey, security. Let's see. No, no, don't worry about it. It's just a 30 Griffin. foot long, 10 foot Griffin. high <laughs> wall of lime juice. Quick. Capture, capture the juice. <laughs> it's only going to stay Empire there for 10 minutes. Head, you need to get every bit you can. <laughs> 10 minutes, that's all you have. Get all the lime you can. Gillian out. We're going to go get sucked. <laughs> so you start flooding this tavern full of lime juice, leaving Alphonse and Be careful. Griffin I and Ollie. I carry Lyme disease. <laughs> <laughs> Felipe goes, oh, fuck it. Oh, my God, this is crazy. <laughs> he starts, like, running along with you, and you swear you hear. Fuck. <laughs> no, fuck. And uh, the bartender is screaming at you. He's like, hey, wait, oh, yo, my, my floors. We got to go. We got to go. You don't and, clean um, up. <laughs> Let's get sucked. Well, whenever you get to this sort of, um, it's nearly the very center of the city, so you have to uh, climb a few steps, walk up a few inclines. Uh, the, the higher you get, obviously, the less uh, amount of like water that separates the different buildings and pathways. It's now more like there's sort of tubes of waterfalls that run down slides and seem to power uh, both the electricity and the mode of transportation, which is like these uh, boat train cars, hybrids that run along these uh, canals that wrap around the different parts of the city. But you guys get all the way to the center and you walk into this sort of like, uh, um, it's a uh, very open grand central type building. And in the center is just this 
elevator shaft type style pod where you see um, not a lot of people are going in and out, but there is this one uh, person who is a, a much more like muscular sea elf standing in front of it, dressed Ooh. very nicely. All right. I, uh, I, I step uh, inside the pod. Well, he, he, there's, a, there's like a bouncer or whatever, like a guy that's like guarding the entrance and the exit. Yeah. He goes, whoa, whoa, man. What's up? Oh, <laughs> believe me. I don't know. This guy seems kind of cool. Now I feel weird about it. You need a reason to get to the Sun City. Right. Well, um, you want to see the Sun City. I want to. My I think my my dad he made us, and my mom is and my mom is the moon, and she uh, made. We've got some business up there. It's it's a little above your pay grade. This is the chosen one, and and his ward Felipe. We've got some. We've got some special yeah, training. I'm sweating. I'm sweating to do lines. Up there. Um, <laughs> chosen one, you gonna roll persuasion? Do you help him at all? Like, do you do you try and you trying to back him up? Oh, uh, yeah, that's me. All right, persuasion <laughs> with advantage. <laughs> okay, that one is a thirteen. Yeah, and that one is a nine. So thirteen. Yeah. Um, plus persuasion, twenty four. That's good. I see. Uh, my, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, you know, it's a it's an easy mistake. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Check this it's, out. Could could just anyone do this? And I pull out a glass. Wow! And I like I like flex really hard, and just dripping off. I like drip feed it in some some chosen juice. Give that a swig. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Of course, uh, sir. And then he like drinks it. What's Is it safe? Like? Is it safe? Yeah, it's it's lime. It's lime. Oh, is it still lime juice? Yeah, it's still lime. Juice. Oh, if it's still the, okay, hold on. Tell your friends. <laughs> Kind of burns the throat a little bit. Is that uh, is that alcoholic? Or uh, I'm sorry, it's, it's it's some top secret stuff that we're working on. But if you do like it, make sure to tell your friends the chosen one. It's the tits, man. It's the tits. Yeah. Hey, yeah. So if, if you'll just step aside. Well, and, uh, actually, you have to pay for the tits. <laughs> and, and hey, for your troubles, you flick him on gold coin. Yeah. He like grabs it effortlessly. I didn't because it didn't make it over didn't here. <laughs> Turns around, presses a few different like like uh, like like hand. It's not, it's just a pad, and he just sort of like makes some kind of like movement with his fingers. And then there's a, and then the door is kind of slide open, and you can see that this tube on the inside is moist. It's wet, like condensation. Oh, all kinds of stuff. I, I, I dive in. I jump in so fast. Well, you you basically drive. You guys walk in on this like platform, and then you hear like bubbling, like the sound of a pot starting to boil. And then the doors close and like the cork popping off of a wine bottle. You guys shoot up with the, like the sound and, and uh, the visual of steam coming up from beneath the platform. You guys start going up and up and up and then you exit emerge from the top of this building, the spire uh, of the, basically the peak of Liquidus and the city beneath you gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And you start to see that hole in the ocean get smaller and smaller before your vision is completely overtaken by clouds. I grab them both and start <laughs> screaming. <laughs> it is a um, exciting, like a very excitable, fast Wee. elevator, all like, like propulsion, almost like you're inside of a rocket. Your bodies, as soon as you start going upwards, you get sucked to the back <laughs> of the tube as, as gravity just takes over and you you can't like seem to move. It actually would be a strength check to try and move any of your limbs as you're sort of like- I want to try and do that thing where you're going in the spin around. I want to try and stand up. Okay, do it. Go you know on strength I mean? check. It's going to be so fun. Uh, 21. 21, you're able to have a little bit of control. You can un unstick from the wall. Yes. <laughs> okay, cool. So if we're stuck to the wall, I want to basically like, I want to go in a position that will be disastrous for me as soon as it stops moving. <laughs> That's not really how. Okay, so you uh, you walk up and you get upside down, so you're standing on the roof. How does this even work? <laughs> Gil, are you okay? I'm on Gil, the roof. Come off join the me, Chip and Jay. Uh, can yeah, you sure, let me triple try. tube physics. Which I'm five. stuck with fear. <laughs> you're stuck I to the wall. Move. You can't. Okay. Um, Gilly, a problem I can't <laughs> move. <laughs> Before you know it, you break through the clouds and you would all notice that weird looking cloud that Jay mentioned that seemed to blend in a little offish, offhandedly. Um, it's that's that illusion slowly fades the closer you get and you realize that it's this large mirror in the shape of a disc. And above it, Whoa. as you get higher and higher, you see sitting on this mirror, this plate um, is a three rounded spire city here in the clouds directly above the that crater in the sea and 
as you get closer and closer to the top, you're inside the city at this point, the tube starts to slow down and ease up into the exit point. And at that moment, Gillian, you fall right <laughs> on your fucking head. <laughs> Go ahead and roll a deck savings savings around to see if you take any damage. And uh, Dodge. Don't fall on me. 17. You're good. You just It hurts a little bit. You don't take any damage. And you notice this bright... Uh, the sun's bright light shines uh, almost like getting reflected off different mirrors in this vicinity in this chamber. Hits the side of the door and the uh, uh, panels, the like, glass panels open up, slide open, allowing you guys to exit the tube. Hey guys, that sucked. And then all, right before you step out, a bunch of steam <laughs> fills this little pod, moistening oh. you up and I then dries you off like a car wash. I don't even let them get some. They stay dry. <laughs> no, that was awesome. <laughs> no, it sucked. It sucked. Awesomely. <laughs> oh, I guess technically. This Felipe, are right. you good? Well, yeah, man. It's like my seventh time. Oh, wow. They just like let you up here? Yeah, I'm a tour guide. Oh, that's I cool. I tour around the, uh, you know, liquidus. How do we get down? Do we jump? Well, no, like, if you notice, you let, the, let me speak. You guys actually <laughs> emerge basically at the entryway of this, this city. And, and like I said, um, the tube is sort of on the outskirts of town. Uh, or like right at the entrance and these buildings are beautiful um they're all kind of rounded though some of them reach very tall peaks with like white stone brass and copper gold and, and glass architecture and there are multiple reflective surfaces that seem to bounce light in a way to where you can immediately tell that this entire city glows with the sun now uh, sort of sitting about like mid like just past afternoon it glows with the sun and all of the light that the sun shines onto the city is what powers the city I'm gonna okay. dry it out like Spongebob in the movie <laughs> <laughs> you're looking good you're looking yeah. a little a little dry you need some water I see like all of your pores you look moist give it to me <laughs> what? please Give me, give you what? Is it moisture? I got moisture. Okay. <laughs> you take my uh, moisture. I, <laughs> take some of it. I dry out like SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Felipe, that'll, that'll, that'll buy me a minute. High altitude. It is extremely chilly. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So I'm not like it's not. You're not like right next I'm to the sun. Chip. I help. I don't know how to help you. So it's dramatic, so but dramatic. So dry. dry. So much friction. Uh, anyway, so uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go to the temple. Yeah, is that what we're yeah that's what we're doing. All right, we're there. All right, cool. So, <laughs> I want to I want to go into. You're the such temple. a good tour guide. Do they, <laughs> what does the temple look like? Kaboom! As soon as you get there, it mirrors the architecture. Though instead of like the blues and and sort of marble like uh, ocean and moon sort of uh, theming, it is more golden and 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 sun-esque but it is very similar in architecture and there's this big uh symbol of like this radiant sun mm -hmm. um with like wisping uh flames on the end of it i mean i've never seen these guys before i mean i don't think moon up probably doesn't isn't what they like no we so do i moon these guys nope maybe nope no no I feel like we should try. I can't say for certain that you don't. They're a, they're a little bit more, you know, headstrong, strict. They don't strict. really go with the More flow. strict than the other people? They got like fiery passion. Oh, you know, shit. They're crazy, man. Okay. What if I set my clothes on fire? That is good. Get in fast. That is such a good idea. I want to... <laughs> let's set all our clothes on fire. Okay. <laughs> That's not good. All right. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the first episode of Just Roll With It Week, but in the interest of being able to do it again someday, I have something I need to talk to you about. Have you heard of Honey? Honey is a free online shopping tool that scours the internet for coupon codes and applies it to your order to give you the best deal you can possibly get. It's personally saved me a ton of money on things like pizza, Amazon orders, you name it. And the best part is, it's free, absolutely no spending involved on your part to get these great deals. If you enjoy doing your shopping online, it's a must have. And if you don't already have it, then you could just be straight up missing out. It's free, it installs in a few seconds, and by getting it, you're doing yourself a solid and you're supporting the podcast. So we can do another thing like this again. So if you want to support the show and also help yourself by getting some good deals, go to joinhoney.com slash JRWI. That was joinhoney.com slash JRWI. Thank you again to Honey for sponsoring this episode, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait, Gil, how do we set our set our clothes on fire? I don't know. Burning? I, I only do water stuff. Jay, can you set me on fire? Um, uh, quick Felipe, before they open the door and they see Felipe, us Felipe, like this. Felipe's Felipe already opened the door. He's no! inside. And you, oh, hear, and you hear and you you fuck you hear Felipe. Oh Jesus, man. <laughs> Good Jeez. evening, your majesties. Let's just be, bro. Oh. Stand up. Felipe. My bad. Don't listen to yourself. You're a king. Uh, it seems to be kind of... Hello? It echoes. Hello? 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 Marco? No, that's down below. Poyo. Oh. Yeah, it's Polo up here. Polo! Oh, uh, I'll be right with you. Poyo. And then uh, a door opens, like in the like the back left corner, and he comes rushing out. It's this, uh, it's this young, sprightly uh, humanoid boy or guy, and he's just got like uh, sort of this sort of sun-like crown headband around, and he's wearing the bright white and gold robes. And he comes out. Oh, sorry, guys. Uh, how can I help you today, man? <laughs> he like bows. <laughs> Fuck, dude. They're like uh, you bros. could. <laughs> Welcome you... to the Sun Temple. The great uh, temple of the sun, aka Aster the goddess. That's our girl. What's good? So What's like, good? I'm filling in for my brother. He's usually the one doing all this, and I just, uh, sorry, man. No, no I, man, it's all good. What's your What's your name? Yeah, man. My name Polo. Polo. Yeah. Oh. oh. What are the oh. chances? How do you know? I just know things sometimes. Kind of like that. And your brother. Marco, when will Marco? he be back? No, my, my brother is my brother is not named Marco. What's your brother's name? Three, two, one. Go. Derek. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, what what brings you to the Grand Temple of uh, the Sun? Just checking stuff out, looking around, you know. Figured yeah, we need a yeah, cool. All right, uh, couple cool people. You want me to show you? Right? Oh, Felipe. Who are you? <laughs> Whoa. Dude, Felipe, you're everywhere here. It's crazy, Man, people. I know I'm famous, bro. Know so much about you. What's up? That's uh, that's Felipe. What's up? Chosen one in training. Yeah, yeah. That's chosen one in training. Me, chosen one. Lime Lord. Oh, Tuber, the chosen one, Gillian dude. Tide Strider. Yeah. No rope persuasion. Okay. <laughs> no, but no one keeps no one believes me here. Chip, uh, face of imaginable horrors, I guess. <laughs> Seventeen. Wow, yeah, you like the chose like from the prophecy, man? Yeah, I mean, yes, yes. Oh, it's that a is me. great day to be filling in for the bro, bro, Derek. It's great, dude. No. Oh yeah, look, we're gonna, we're gonna, can I show you around? You want to like? Yes, please do. Oh, Tell should, us all about the sun and it's like. Warm should I get like stuff? the grand priest? Do you want to meet the grand priest or? Oh, do we want to make a whole thing, guys. I don't know. He's yes, usually yes, kind of busy. He'd probably sure. want to meet the chosen ones. So we, like, should we set ourselves on fire again? No. No, 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 no flames. They all get extinguished immediately as soon as you walk in here. Oh, well, like, really? how do we show respect? Do we do we show our ass? No. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Not okay. that but, I'm you aware of. Think, but you had to think about it. Yeah, I don't pay attention. And, at, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to show your ass. Sun you haven't been doing school, that? Your sun, sun day school. Sun, ah. Oh. I don't pay attention. Every day Sunday up here, I bet. We do is we just soak up the sun. I could soak up the sun. Whoa. Yeah. I'll Me never too. get you. Don't even have to eat up here, bro. We just sit there in the sun and you, everything energizes. You photosynthesize? What? What? Who's that? What? No, nah, man. Soaking up the sun. Science. Do not bring that into a place like this. <laughs> yeah, there, you notice that there's a bunch of mirrors around the, the, the interior. And so what he does is he just like, almost like a match, but he uses his finger to strike it and then a light shines and he points towards one of the mirrors and it reflects, ding, 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 ding. And then it hits a certain keyhole in this big, uh, like a uh, mahogany wooden door. Whoa. Uh, behind uh, the behind the great like cathedral or not cathedral but like the podium same place where you guys but instead of going down and just a big door that opens and leads deeper into this uh this cathedral yeah check it out man science all right Whoa. man that was pretty cool science yeah we whatever bro we we have a shit down down home down at home oh, oh i mean i've, I've never seen, seen anyone do that cool. down there felipe yeah. yo check it out bro down in this room is the is the is the big mural that's for you yeah check it out oh. Oh God! We got another one of the murals in here. Hey, wow! Dude. Another mural of. Do they have like any murals of like, I don't know, guys that look maybe like me or anything? No, but, like uh, no, but not. Do I know you? What? No. You should we haven't met before? You might have met me. I just, I don't know. I'm like a pretty like. I'm maybe a big it's, pirate. You, you, you also know? notice that he has like red hair as well, like bright red oh, hair. Shit. <laughs> no, no, I've never met no. you in my life. You look so familiar, man. R Riptide pirates. Is it because I have red hair? 
Captain Chip? The what? No. Sorry. Polo, what's your last name? Polo? It's Polo Polo. Your last name? <laughs> I, I went to Davidson Navy School. <laughs> oh, okay. So you're with the government? You guys are with the government? No. Yes. Yes? No. no. They don't no. they don't reach up here, so it's cool. Unless okay. you guys are trying to like, you know, extend your reach. And you said no, you're not with the government? No. I don't I'm think kinda like a, I'm kinda like a famous pirate. Oh, pirate. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Chip. Captain Chip. Well, um of the Riptide Pirates. Look, man, because you're the chosen one, we gotta look at that mural and then probably get out of the grounds of the of the temple because having criminals on the floor is not gonna go well. Oh with no, them. man. Like, sorry, they're not criminals. they're just pirates. Yeah. That's offensive. Well, here's the thing. If you want to stay on the on the on the on the grounds as pirates, you probably should confess your sins. Oh shoot. Okay, we gotta do that. Oh yeah, okay, I can do All that. All right, tell you what, hold off on the mural for now. I'd feel bad seeing it. All um, right. I'll I don't have any sins, but these guys, you know, probably have a few. No, I'm good. Oh. Are you sure? Sins. Because if you walk past those doors <laughs> and you haven't confessed your sins, you'll get smitten by the goddess. <laughs> I feel like it's more appropriate if he just catches on fire in this place. No, I'm like, I'm pretty sure I'm good. Never killed anybody. But you haven't done anything else. <laughs> that you can, are you sure? Because if you've hmm. done anything... What constitutes a sin? A lot. We took some lemons earlier. You what? <laughs> You better confess that, dude. Did you steal? No, no, you can't say they're lemons. It's not stealing. It's lemons do you lie to people, they're bro? Limes. They're limes. I lied to you just now. <laughs> Get out, man. You're gonna... Holy no, shit. dude. I look, it's, I'm sorry. Polo? Bro, you're I, fucked. I apologize. <laughs> holy shit, How much dude. time do we I have mean, with the... I gotta confess, bro. I just swear. Dude, I don't even think you can call him by his first name anymore. Mr. Polo? Please. His priest, Polo. Sorry, man. All right. Just... How do I the confessionals? We got a booth over there. Okay. Um. Anybody want to go first? Yeah, I'll go first. Okay, go ahead. All right. I walk in to the you confessional walk in booth. And then you guys would see Polo Walkman, the other one. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> he just sits quietly. You're sitting quietly. It's literally, um, and it's it's just like confessional booths. Um. So like, uh, I don't know. I I've been I bull I bull, I bully Chip a lot. Is that a sin? Speak your fucking mind. I mean, speak your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Let's switch. I think me and you need to switch places. Let's speak your mind. No, I just, the DM has a swearing problem. <laughs> this one time, there's like five goblins, and they invaded our ship, and I and I murdered like three of them. It feels like maybe like three. Oh god, oh god, they had lives. They had lives. Maybe they had children. What if they had children? True. <laughs> Oh fuck! Don't was... worry, Jay. We'll find them too. <laughs> it's it's actually soundproof. You guys can hear. Uh, oh, okay. And then there, you know, I lied for like a year, maybe or like longer. Oh god, I lied so much. That's a big one, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, I lie a lot. Yeah. Um, and then we stole some lemons today, and that wasn't like, limes. Limes today, they're limes. And now we're making a, an illegal lime empire. May the light guide you, my child, or whatever. All right. Send in the next one. <laughs> Here, Chip, you got this. What? Yeah, man. Chip, me? I went in there. You had me? to go in there now. Yeah. I've got to think about it. Yeah, 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 sure. Okay. I'm it shouldn't take long. Right? No, I don't, it won't take that long. Yeah. As Jay leaves, before you walk in, you see this flash of bright light on, on Polo's side. And then it dims slowly. All right. Who's next? <laughs> hey, Polo, what was that? He sticks his head out. Oh, I was just communing with the goddess. Oh, oh, cool. you do that all the time? Pretty much. Okay, sick. <laughs> yeah, I'm like walking backwards. It'll be fine, guys. Yeah, I'll just, how bad could just it be? Just give me a minute. Just give me a minute. Maybe just like get comfortable. I'll be, I'll be a minute. Remember, sure. confess your sins or die. <laughs> I might be That's a little while. That's what we around here. And I shut the door. <laughs> okay. It's, uh, it'll go silent um, on your end and on, I guess, on you guys as well. Because it's very quiet. You walk in, you sit down, little bench. Put your head back. Very daredevil scene like. Yeah, I sit, I sit down, I say, Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Forgive him, bro. Been, What's good? <laughs> it has been my entire life since my last confession. 
So when I was on the Black Rose Pirates, I kept like taking people's stuff and throwing it overboard because I thought it was funny. And I would just like throw it over all the time. And one time Lizzie got this cool locket that she really liked and I just grabbed it and I was playing with it one day and it broke. And I got so scared that I ate it and then I pooped it out and I didn't want to give it back to her. So I threw it overboard. And ever since then, when I started breaking stuff, I just throw it overboard. And I get really mad at Gillian all the time for throwing things overboard. But really, I've thrown like four of his like clothing items overboard. His armor has gotten way less powerful because I keep just pulling little bits off when I play with it because I get like nervous and I start fiddling with things and I just throw it overboard and I don't know what to do. So I project that insecurity onto him every time he throws the gold overboard. And I go, oh, Gillian. Dude, mark your AC down one. <laughs> Me? <laughs> yeah, temporarily. I can't fucking believe that, that you just did that. But really, I just can't really like, help it because like I, I get really nervous. So I just start fiddling with things. And also, Jay, I just kind of pull her hair out sometimes. I don't know why I do it. Just like one little strand. She'll just be sitting there and I'll just be like, do you ever have those intrusive thoughts where you're just like looking at someone and you're thinking your hair could be pulled out right now and you'd never notice. And I just do it and I just go beep and she doesn't notice. And I do it all the time. She is going bald. She has like a little bald spot right behind her left ear and, and she just hasn't noticed. And I don't know what to do about it because I can't stop. And also sometimes when I lay awake at night, I think about things that I shouldn't. <laughs> go on. What kind ghosts. of <laughs> ghosts? I don't know if that's a sin. I just think about ghosts. Well, if, uh, if if that's all your sins, is that all your sins? No, we could go on for like another week. That's just like in like the last, like, that's just when I was, was on that ship and also just now. My mind's kind of spiraling right now. I do a lot of bad in my life and I don't really know how to come to terms with that. Hey, you know what? Do you promise to change? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I would, like I would, but I just can't promise that because I'll, that's a lie and that's another sin and I just can't do that. You know what, man? I think this has been probably the most productive confession I've ever been a part of. Really? Yeah. I feel like we've gotten nowhere and I am never going to be any better. Think about it, man. You just got all this off your chest. Huh. Don't you feel a little lighter? Well, normally I just ignore the the horrible consequences of my actions, but now I'm actually thinking about it. So no, it's actually very heavy on my heart and my mind and my soul. You have any words you want me to ask the goddess of the sun? Just to pass a message on? Yeah. Maybe we'll start forgiving you in like short bursts, you know, like a monthly, sure, yeah, we'll, we'll a monthly get... meetup. Maybe, Maybe you could start talking to her yourself. If you could, I don't know. I guess I'm wondering if like, this is right. You know, what we're doing is right. If we're, like, are we the good guys? Are we doing what we should be doing? I, I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter that much, but just curious. You know, I'll ask her. And if she wants to answer, cool. you'll know. Hey, just a hypothetical question. If you had a pirate ship and, and also a small boy that you keep on said pirate ship, <laughs> how long would you keep him there? before bringing him home to his family that doesn't know where he is. This is my opinion as a priest. Mm -hmm. And you don't gotta take this to heart, all right? It's just subjective. Sure. But in my experience- I feel like you're about to hurt my feelings. When you raise a child, you know what they say? You really need a village. Are you the one that's gonna bring him up the best he can be? You know, I'll think you'll find the answer on your own, dog. Okay, dog. Yeah. Um, so I'm not going to, like, burst into flames and light anymore? Well, I sure hope not. <laughs> I also hope not. Okay. Yeah. So, like, half an hour passes for you guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I go on telling all our adventures and the horrible things I've done with them. You start sitting at, like, the little benches in the, in the room, and eventually Chip comes out. There's a big flash of light on Polo's side. It's been three years, Chip. <laughs> oh, no. Chip. All right, uh, Gilly, you got, uh, you got anything you want to confess on? Or? Uh, I'll, go in the, I'll go in the confession book. I guess I'll just go for it. Um, Jay gave me this incredible chess piece she made. And um, I think I'm washing it wrong. <laughs> Because for some reason, every day there's like a little more, like a little piece of it keeps coming off. And I've tried, <laughs> you know, watching it differently. And it seems like even if I hide it, somehow the, the pieces still come off and get and get beat up. Um, 
and I just feel like a bad friend. <laughs> no, because nothing I do seems to stop this this word. Word, yeah, word, yeah, yeah. Polo, I'm 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 beating around the bush because I think I know why I might explode into a billion tiny gillion pieces when I walk through that door. Sometimes I don't want to be this chosen one or hero. I'm just doing it. Because that's what everyone and literally now the moon has told me to do. And it's and it's good. I'm helping people, but sometimes sometimes maybe Sometimes maybe I want to steal lemons with my friends. <laughs> and that's bad. So Sun God, if you want to explode me, do it now. All right, man. So what do you want me to tell her? I guess. Can she talk back or no? Unfortunately... She communicates in mysterious ways. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Um, she's like, she's like the sun. She's the whole sun. Yeah, it's all in the mural, dog. Cool. Well, um, I guess tell her that, um, Chip probably didn't say all his sins, but please don't explode him <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, and um, yeah if you're gonna explode either of my friends just explode me instead I can take it and I guess also tell her that I'm trying I got you my man what do you what do you guys say we say moon up down there but I don't know if you guys have a cool thing you say up here you ever seen that commercial with like the sunny D orange juice are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Yo, dude, language. Sorry, Polo. I'd like to make another confession. I did just swear. Oh, no. Is this all going through? Is the line open right now? Is she hearing all of this? No, bro. It's after you leave the confessional. I oh, hear okay, up. sweet. All right. Um, Wait, what is the Sunny D motto? It's like the power of this. You brought up the Sunny D commercial without knowing the motto. <laughs> you just like thought of the commercial and you were like, that. Uh, yeah, that. Sunny Basically, D's, bro, Sunny D's nuts. may the light guide your way. I'm sure you're doing just fine. There's no way that's the Sunny D motto. <laughs> with the power of the sun. Uh, <laughs> all right. With the power of the sun. In a bottle. The bottle up. Machine. <laughs> bottle up. Okay, cool. All right. You guys watch Killian uh, step out. And that big flash of light, Polo steps out. All right, so who wants to see the Grand Temple of the Sun? Okay, who wants to get through the door first, though? <sighs> okay. Oh, I feel like kind of tired. I don't know if I want to go anymore. Go right. <laughs> I'm gonna run through the door and He's fully like, expect to explode. Yeah, right, you close your eyes and everything, and you I get like, past feel the door. Like I've done a, you know that feeling when you feel like you've forgotten to pack something? I feel like I've 100% <laughs> done some terrible, like. It's like when you go through TSA and you're like, oh shit, do I have a bomb? It's like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh and shit, I, did I accidentally, did pack, I accidentally a bomb? pack a bomb? That I made and I run I've through. I've never had that. Oh! I have that feeling where I like walk through and I'm like, man, did someone plant? And like, if they're going to find something that I just didn't expect. That's, yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to have to figure out how to explain it. I'm like, did I like violently like kill someone and hide the body and like steal all their money and not remember it or something? You actually <laughs> run through yes. perfectly fine. Okay. Whoa! Woo! Going together? Together. Hey, I walk up. one second, guys. You're looking thirsty. Hand <laughs> them some Sunny D over the threshold. <laughs> Thanks, Gillian Time Strider. <laughs> Man, I hope we Man, get that's good. <laughs> Delicious. I walk up with, with the Jay. The sun. Like, All right, are you ready? One, two, three. I push her through. <laughs> you guys make it through fine. Okay. I don't go through yet. Oh, you don't? I just push her. Oh, well, Jay, you make it through fine. You son of a... Hey, I just wanted to make sure you were good. I can't I can't swear in this holy site. You already did. You said son of, and that's already what? It's like yeah, that's like a whole can yeah, of words. We're, okay. we're all the son of the son of we're all son of the sun. Alright, yeah. I'm gonna go through. If I die, uh 
don't worry, Chip, you'll be fine. I fully cast Shield of Faith on him in plain sight. <laughs> Seriously, like, like multiple, like you see me casting spells at like layers and layers and layers of wards and like appearing on you. Oh, okay. Sweet. I walk through. You're, you're good. I, like I already okay. said, you walk through perfectly fine. Ooh. I was really hoping that Chip would explode. What the hell? Why? <laughs> he pushed me through. Yeah, but just like. I guess that wasn't a sin. If you were gonna die, I wanted to make sure it was fast. Wait, guys, does You're this welcome. mean, hang on, hang on, hang on. Does this mean we can commit things we aren't sure are crimes and then jump across to see if they are? Yes. I guess. Let me stab you, Kim. Okay, I let her stab <laughs> just, me. Just so you know <laughs> that stepping across while you are still tainted means certain doom. There is no coming back. <laughs> if you commit a crime or some kind of sin, you step into these doors and you haven't confessed, you're definitely not going to see the exit of this place. I just okay, really how about need... this? It's going to be completely consensual. Uh -huh. I'm going to say, stab me. You do. We walk across. So where's this be mural? <laughs> you're looking at it, and it's like right next to you guys in this long, oh, long oh. hallway, very long mural. Very, oh. It's a little similar with a few differences. Are you gonna stab me or no? Um, <laughs> like, I, I need to know now. If you come on the other side of the door, I'll stab you. Okay, Matt, I go on the other side and then let Flippy stab me. May I stab you? Yes. <laughs> uh, natural 20. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, yeah, don't worry, Felipe. very little. <laughs> oh my God! Felipe's awesome. The liver? What the fuck? What the what, Gil? Sorry! I lean over the line and explode. <laughs> you take uh, 10 points of piercing damage. Felipe, that was consensual, but that felt like a sin, man. Whoa, hey, 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 oh. All right, so uh, you gonna walk in? Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, because I got stabbed. But I wonder if that is that a... Is getting know. stabbed a crime? I don't... I guess we'll find out. I walk over. You're good to go. Woo! All right, Felipe. All right, what, uh, are, what are the differences in the mural? Are you gonna look at the mural now, yeah, Riley? Yeah. Wait, does Felipe step over? No. Felipe, what's what's wrong? Uh, uh, I don't know, man. No, it's just, it should be totally fine. You should be okay, you're Felipe. Well, I kind of pick favorites, dude. Like, you know, Moon got us all the way, well, so. Yeah, but that's not like, it shouldn't be a sin to have a different belief than someone else. Uh, right? Well, <laughs> I guess so. Um, he starts to walk forward, <laughs> and you guys see as soon as his foot steps past the door, it bursts into flames. Holy like, oh, shit! Oh, 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 god. Oh, god, oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! I can't go in there! Oh man! Oh, that hurts! Oh! Oh! Oh my oh, god! It's oh, real! Wow. It's fake! Hurts. I didn't think it was wow, real! Wow! That oh. was ri and that was like a huge explosion too! Oh man! I'm going outside! Felipe, what did you do, man? I'm going outside! I'm going outside! Uh, I'll catch you guys in a minute! When you, when you get out there! Oh hey! By the way, uh, the uh, the eclipse is today. It'll be dope. Oh, the eclipse. That's cool. We got to catch that. I'll cool. see you outside. Yeah. Uh, oh. Yeah. oh. She's good. That's like a hey. big day for my mom. Hey. You're really petty, huh? You a petty bitch. You a petty <laughs> bitch, huh? <laughs> Felipe, those are sins for sure. I don't know. I'll confess later. Looking at the mural now, all together, walking mm. down this hallway. It's very long. It spans the whole wall. Mm. It tells the same sort of tale or timeline of... Will you not know to be Lunadea and Aster, the goddess of the moon and the sun? And essentially, it's it's a it's like I said before, but I'll, I'll try and make it a little bit more detailed this time. So you see a similar story, which where it tells that all of the existence of this world comes from the two goddesses, Lunadea and Aster, just as the water is um, sort of maestroed like a, like a, like an orchestra by the moon. Um, the ocean needs the goddess to continue to thrive. The land needs the sun. And one will not survive without the other. On this mural, it seems to tell a story more in favor of life on land thriving with the energy of the sun. Mm. The reason why this planet has four oceans divided by the colossal landmasses is due to a disagreement between the two goddesses when creating this world. 
whereas Luna Deus wanted the a, a world full of water and uh, you know creatures and and the like that survived underwater completely. Aster wanted a world that is dominated by land and land dwellers and see how it would thrive based on that. And because they could not agree, they fought. They had a battle. And that battle, the sort of, um, the remnants of it that stem from the battle is why the ocean was filled with magic and why the four land masses split all of the seas as Aster and some sort of large rage-filled attack punched, punched, but dealt a blow to the center of the world which um, causes Luna's precious ocean to be cracked, essentially, or, or sectioned off into the four oceans. And that major, uh, that major blow, that center of the world where this battle happened and that final sort of, you know, um, strike happened is now where Allport is built. And after that blow, after causing such uh, chaos and destruction and just a complete mess of a world the sun goddess as as this mural says suggested that she choose a champion born of sunlight first storm and sea you know one that could walk the land and breathe water. And it would be that champion, the chosen one, who would decide the fates of the world. But this mural leans more towards you being Aster's champion rather than Luna Deus's. To mommy? Back in the undersea, which version of this did I hear the most of? Very likely the. The moon one, the moon mural, yeah. is uh, the most familiar because it is in favor of uh, the entire world and sea. Yeah. It's in favor of the, the ocean. The moon. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So it's I, in favor of the, the goddess. Well, it speaks more, the undersea sort of has more of a focus on all the leviathans that actually sort of govern and, and stay inside of the ocean itself yeah. because they live underneath that water and that's more pressing that's tangible that's more tangible than the moon the goddess that doesn't really affect underneath the water as much as you would think polo i have a weird question hit me bro yeah bro Re okay I, I hit him and then i say uh, oh, oh. <laughs> you're going cold? strong i don't know i exploded a fire um <laughs> <laughs> you hit a priest bro you're getting arrested you told me to dude are you I mean, fine take me in i'm sorry <laughs> um what's up yeah i just um this is not the mural i saw my whole life and i guess i wanted to ask i mean is it possible that there are two chosen, chosen tools? Like I said, you know, my brother is the more studious one, but from what I remember, real pretty high. From what <laughs> I remember, I guess it could be possible, but like, who would be born at the exact same time in the exact same way? Oh my God, two Gillians. A second Gillian. The world isn't ready. Do you have a brother or a sister that you was that you're like a twin or something? I'm not twins with Eden, am I? I don't think so. No. <laughs> <laughs> I know all. Man. What do you know about me? No. What do you know about my family? <laughs> a lot of the prophecy in the undersea definitely leaves out the whole story of everything and the two goddesses. But what you were saying is there could be a human. <laughs> Humilian guy walker out there somewhere. <laughs> Do I have a twin? Well, okay, no, no, I don't think so. Eden doesn't, Eden doesn't look anything like you. What? She looks a lot like me, actually. She no, almost looks identical like... to me. It's very similar. In a way. Yeah. Very, very similar, yeah. Kind of. But maybe not twin. I mean, like... I wouldn't say twin, though. No. No. There's got to be, like, another... There has to be another. Has to be another. 
Which means we have to go find this other chosen. Well, yeah, they can understand any of this, any of this stuff. Maybe they're or, actually, you know, or they're, they're just good as it. confused as you. And maybe there's someone else who kind of gets it. You know, maybe. Maybe. Eden, I mean, she wasn't getting transferred, right? No, I mean, as far as I know, she's still working there at Allport. I think I have her number on the comms, right? Yeah. Okay. One a day, remember? I'm gonna call her right now. One. Oh, day. you're gonna call. You're gonna call her right now. Okay. Oh, you're really emphasizing one a day. Uh, shit. Yeah, what? I'll call her now. <laughs> what? What are you doing? Why is that? I'm just like getting. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, is video call okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Video it's... call okay? <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm fully. I like I'm good. Pull out like cologne. <laughs> she can't uh, even smell all right, you. You uh, pull out the conch shell. Yeah. And uh, you connect with Eden. What do you say? You have to speak for. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like posed up, <laughs> like in front of the, the mural with, yeah, with Chip. It Chip doesn't is like in the background. It doesn't have video. <laughs> oh, it doesn't. No, remember. I, but like, I think it does. It's like a phone. <laughs> We're gonna treat it like it does anyway. Okay. Yo, Eden. Hey, hey, Eden. What's up here? Just, in, here in the Sun Temple, with my out. boy Chip. What's happening? <laughs> I'm here too. Jay's here too. Yeah, she's back there. She's just like, we're just like talking to the, uh, the sun god people. Eden, the craziest shit is happening right now. I think there might be a second chosen one, which honestly would be really, really sick if I could talk to someone. So I just wanted to check. First of all, if you were the chosen one the whole time, it was like, you got me, because that would be so cool. Because yeah. we're like, that would be. We would be there, that would be you know what I mean? Crazy. That would be crazy. How are you doing though? For like, uh, how are you doing? Chip, <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> I just, honestly, I have no idea what to do with myself. So this was my first reflex was to call you. Also, Chip is doing a really cool face right now with his lip and eyes and body. No, I'm just chilling. I'm just being me. <laughs> so after you guys talk- But he talk, looks more strange. You guys talk for a moment, wait for a response, and you hear, Hi, this is Eden Tidestrider. I'm busy at work at the moment. So if there's anything that you need, try and call me another time. Well, hang on, Eden. Actually, I was just wondering if there was no, we could talk it's now. A, it's a, it's a Eden? message. It's a message. Are you in there? I, I you can also with... leave like a message and it'll play for me whenever I pick up my, my shell. What does that mean? Okay. When leave it, it beeps, the beep. you have to say exactly and concisely beep. what you're trying. Okay, we have to say exactly hmm? what. No. Now I say it. Eden, are you in there? <laughs> Eden, I'm here with Chip. In hey, this. Eden. Hi. What's I, up? I just told you about- Miss you. I just told you something That's, really important. Can you restart it? Because I don't like how I said that. Okay, yeah. It, uh, it I, just, hang on. I'm <laughs> 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 trying to call her back. <clears throat> and I, and I, okay, sorry. And I call her back. Dude, it's, it's one a day. <laughs> oh, oh, man. man. Shit. Jay, why didn't you say something? <laughs> You wanted to restart. Come on, Jay. She's, she's getting that. She's message. gonna think I'm a she loser. She didn't even hear the part about the chosen one. <laughs> she's gonna hear the message of you saying that you miss her anyway, dude. Do you think that was like I came off okay though? No, you. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be the most excruciating twenty-four hours of our lives. <laughs> we have to delete that message. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I, is there any way? Is there? Can I delete the message? No. I, I, uh, Polo, do you have a landline? I don't think. Uh, I don't know if we can have. I don't think we have a landline, bro. I don't know if that's how that works. I'm like struggling to decide if we have no, phones in here. No, this is the Sun Sun Temple, so they would have. We can connect the nearest Sun Temple. That's about it. Where is she right now? Uh, she would probably be uh, working uh, in Allport at the, what is the place called again? Uh, I think it's the tank. The tank, at the tank. Do you have priests in the tank? Wait. She said she's at work right now. That's the only thing she said to me over the phone and then she disappeared. She's at Allport, dude. There's a sun temple there. Oh, no We shot. can pass a message. Okay, let's pass a message. Wait, do you guys have like, we could teleport? Did we just go? Because I need to delete that message. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, we don't really do all that over here. Chip, why do you care so much what my no, sister? No, no, just like, what my sister thinks about? I don't know. I just don't want to come off like weird, you know. I just want her to like like me and respect me and stuff. Yeah, I get that. I want yeah. that too. 
<laughs> I'm so glad that you're looking to be friends with my sister. I'm looking to hang out with your sister. She's really cool and like, I feel like we get along really well, you know? Yeah, you get along fine. Like really well, <laughs> like, like really well. Yeah, for what it is, the like land person and a sea person. You know. <laughs> Are we going to try and call the other temple? Oh, yeah. yes. yes. All right, yeah. let's go. All right, we do that. So, uh, brrr. yo, what's going Yo. Yo, Eden, what's uh, going on? No, Just it's here. Not, it's not time for that. Uh, Eden, hello. Eden. Yeah, this is um this is Polo calling from the Grand Temple of the Sun. Yeah, can I uh can I can I speak to a uh, high priestess? Our high priest? One of them? I think now. No, no, yeah. I've got, I've got the, I've got the chosen one here. I want to uh, talk to you. Yeah, no, real shit. The chosen one. Yeah, yeah. What's your name? E Eden. Oh, G uh, Gillian, <laughs> Gillian Tide Strider. Gillian Tide. Champion of the Gillian, undersea. Hero Gillian of the deep. Tide Strider. Tuber, Champion of the deep. Goblin, Hero gobbler. Of the deep, tuber, goblin, gobbler. Chips, nightmare fuel. The wanted one. No, it's the chosen one. No, the chosen one. I don't think he's wanted anywhere. Oh, well, he's wanted oh, everywhere. I want it everywhere. everywhere. You got it. No, they seem to, you share a name with a guy who has a bounty. Oh, yeah, that's me. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Oh. You still want to talk to him? They hung up, bro. <laughs> oh. So they can't delete the message? Yeah, something about like. Why'd they hang up on, on us? You got well. They don't want to accidentally get in trouble for being in contact with someone who blew up the headquarters on Allport, mm. and is now wanted by the government. Oh, the government government! You guys have basically had a tour of the Grand uh, Temple, and you're back in the front of the uh, of the basically the house, the, the front house there. <laughs> Do you think the chosen the son the chosen son? What should we call the chosen one on the land? Um, the walk the walking walk guy. Walk man. Walk man. <laughs> hey, listen. The if anyone else comes here and is like me, but like I don't know, a guy. You're a guy. I am a guy. Me, but like um, if anyone else says they're the chosen one, yeah. Um. They're not. Can you give him like your magical thingy? Oh, here, I'll give you my number. I'll see if they can lay eggs or not. Well, no, it's that not too. That is big. I want to find commonalities. But but not, please let me know. Not as important as if he's the chosen one. That's pretty important. But we'll get out of your hair. We'll chosen watch the eclipse. Dose. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. You're, you're the Fun only man. one that I, you're the only chosen one I've met. So far, because there could be more, which means I could, maybe I'm not alone, Polo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I get his number? Because he's a bro. You want, you want my conch shell number? Yeah, man. Dude, you've been so, so helpful to me. You've helped me on probably my biggest revelation as chosen one ever. I mean, you are like a, like a touchstone dude, no for me way, in my man, destiny. Dude, no way, man. Dude, no way. Yeah, man. Oh, man. I, I, my brother's going to freak when he hears so I'm tearing up, man. No, it's all good. It's all good. I'm a big fan, bro. Like, no, for really? sure. Even with like the blowing up. You're the, the reason I became a priest. What? Are no you? Way. Are, you're a fan of like all of us, though, right? But, no, <laughs> but I can be friends of the chosen one or friends of mine, man. Hit me up anytime. Okay. Yeah, it's you like guys, almost as good. What do you guys do? Yeah, I can work with that, I guess. What do you guys do? Um, it hurts a little bit. We like we just do um. We like it's like pirate, pirate stuff, and, and then. Oh, like I said, you better get out of the, the church. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, Polo, uh, real quick. If you want a picture, we can do that. Yeah. No, All right, I, sweet. Wait. Uh, I, go, I go lean in to, to Gillian and I pose. Sweet. I pose two for three seconds, and then out of my pocket, I pull a picture I drew of myself and give it to him. <laughs> he takes it. Wait, can we get like a real one, though? Well, this is awesome. A real one? Yeah. He pulls out like a stone. This right here? Is a memory pebble. Basically, what we do, we flick it up, we pose, and it captures it, and we can look at it whenever we want. Whoa, this seems kind of scary. I mean, I'm gonna be trapped in there. No, it'll just capture us right now in time. Ready? Capture. You want to be in it? I sure. could be in it. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. You really want me to? Like, I wait. Go anything, get the guy. Well, well, for, uh, I mean, Polo, if it captures us, like, can we get out? Or like? No, it's not gonna like. Look, you ready here? I'll, I'll test it out. Yeah. <laughs> 
So he pulls out another one, flicks it up, and then he goes, all right, say the magic words. Cheese. 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 And there's this like little glow. Yeah. And, then it fall, and it falls to the ground, picks it up, and then as he just kind of like squeezes a little bit, this little like uh, uh, very, this little display of this little picture shows up. <laughs> See? I'm, I'm, I'm flinched like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like staring straight into the camera, absolutely terrified. Am I, is that? Uh, That's what you look like. Uh, I look good. Why? But I, when you I look, look so at myself scared. in the water, I'm more wobbly. Are other people going to see this? No. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, actually, well, I just sent it to Eden. <laughs> Here, you know what? Here, take some. Here you go. Bam. Gives you five. No way. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, you can keep that. I don't understand. I have a whole pouch full of them, man. I just collect all these memories and never forget about them. Whoa. Whoa. Thank you so much, Polo. Yeah. Okay, I want one with you, too. I want one with you, too. All right, you guys take one. Okay. The door opens to the temple a little bit. Yo, yo, it's it's about to start. You guys going? Yo, my boy, my favorite sinner. Let's go. Yes. All right, all right. So you guys head out of the temple, finally say goodbye to Polo. And uh, you walk outside, and it's just very golden hour, similar to when the sun sets on Allport and all that wood shines, and it looks like a golden city. This one is quite literally turns in to this beautiful golden city, illuminated by the sun, with uh, reflections giving like the different walkways and streets sort of like spotlights or, or street lights in a way. And then you start to see the moon and the sun really close to overlapping. Uh, is this like cathedral, uh, like climbable? Could we get up to like a, a vantage point of something? You could, yeah, it would be a little difficult, but you could try. Yeah. Uh, here, guys, let's watch from up here. And I'll start climbing up. Oh, yeah, cool. sure. Oh, yeah, man, I'll... this is going to be so cool, bro. I've never, I've never a, seen oh, this before. Seven, ten. Uh, Fifteen. Yeah, athletics or acrobatics? Nine. Yours? Ten. Yours? Fifteen. All right. So, Jay, effortlessly, you hop up. Do you like use Chip and, and Gillian as a sprint for it and just run out the wall? You put your arm down and you pull Chip up, and then Gillian just kind of left there <laughs> and with Felipe. Guys, Gil, hey. jump, jump. Yo, you jump. jump. I don't Felipe, remember how. I rolled it out for one. Hey, I can't reach, but I'm small. Yeah, okay. I hold up Felipe. Can you get there? Uh, I'll roll again with advantage. Nope, natural one again. <laughs> uh, I still can't reach really small arms. I have a rope. Got on top of. Here, tie, tie Felipe <laughs> onto the rope. Hang on. I, I hold, hold right. on a rope. Okay, I, put, I tie him onto the rope. Survival check. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, that's not bad. Uh, 12. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm safely. Are uh, you going to start pulling him up? Yeah, we both do. Okay, yeah, yeah easy enough with you both of you strike. You Guys, you okay. stop. stop. I'm going to miss it. We can no, start it. Okay, you too. It's okay. All bad. It's almost it. there. It's almost there. No! Okay, I grab onto the, I grab onto the grappling hook. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I'll say, uh, with enough help, it just a, a bit of time passes. You're able to get up. Uh, and cool. just as you get up, the moon overlaps the sun. And oh. a lit, this black moon now a lit, backlit by the golden glow of the sun. The sky around goes from this really bright oh, orange and vibrant hue hands. and darkens <laughs> like like you've just dimmed the light in the entire sky. I look away from them overlapping. <laughs> not in front of me. Am I, am I not supposed to be watching this right now? I feel dirty now. now. Or you gross. guys would notice as the entire like surrounding area dims briefly, these golden sparks and flashes begin to happen all around above the city, really close to you guys as well because you're high up on this uh, on this temple and you just notice these cracks, almost like golden lightning cracks and tears that split open into the sky and then briefly open up like an eyeball or a rift and then it closes once more. Whoa. And you start to notice this happen everywhere, like, Whoa. like hey, fireworks. Hey, like that a feels... Big, like a beautiful golden display of these portal-like openings that just start flashing everywhere above the city. Jay, that feels like something we've wow. heard about happening before. Fetish. That Fetish. seems important, but I can't Fetish. remember exactly Fetish. what. What was it? I mean, Fey like... Wild had portals in the sky. Come on, I'm gonna jump into one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on to Apple and cup her in my hands, and then fully just leave it. Away. Just into the first one that I got, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, the first one pops up. Are we just doing this? Okay, well, before before you try and do that, uh, you would notice before any like. There was one that was close, but you haven't jumped into it. You would see that there are people that are just outside, like looking up at the sky as if the storms would be like a, a very rare, but 
very well anticipated event that happens here Ooh, specifically cool. in the sky city just because they're so uh they're in the clouds essentially and um it's the best view for the solar eclipse because you can finally gillian look at the sun that not burn your eyesight but i need you to roll a con save uh-oh it's beautiful i kept staring at it for so long but i never really saw it um 23. Your vision is a little blurry at first, and then it focuses on the beautiful display of both the sun and the moon together. And then your vision gets blocked by this <laughs> crack Ow! right in front of you, this golden uh, uh, tear. Can it be in, like- In spatial reality, just tears right in Dude, front of you. Can it be like I was looking at it and it was so beautiful, I was like leaning forward and the crack opens and I like go off balance and just fall <laughs> into it. <laughs> it cracks first and it has that kind of like, um, heat wave effect where it ripples the surrounding mm. area and then it opens right in front of your face and you guys see Gillian just fall in and you have no idea where he went because it almost Whoops. like he oh, falls okay. in thin air and, vroom, and you know that- I'm within, coming, mommy! Within two seconds, it's going to start close. It's just gonna close if you don't- We gotta go. go. What? We gotta go in. Okay! Wait, 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 come. I yes! Oh, oh, yes. No. oh no! I'm getting isekai again! <laughs> what do you mean I, again? I, I, what does isekai mean? And also again? <laughs> And so you guys start falling into this uh, tear, this this rift, mm, cool. right next or above the uh, the Grand Temple of the Sun, and you're falling. You start falling in like a vortex, surrounded by these multitude of uh, of uh, of colors, like prismatic mm. colors, like almost like an RGB swirl inside of this uh, vortex, cool. and it's just swirling around you. And it feels sickening at first, before you can even start to look around. It's like, it is unlike anything you've ever seen before, but you blink and you're outside somewhere sitting between blades of grass, the soft ground. Chip, I think I was you for a second. <laughs> I think she got your message. Oh man. <laughs> and you're looking up at this somewhat, the early signs of night like a sunset, surrounded by trees uh, and a forest. Beautiful. We? I don't remember this being uh, next to the Sun Temple. Oh, that portal made me feel wiggly. Oh, there. Uh, what? What? I look uh, up. Oh, what, what happened to me? <laughs> you look, you see Felipe has like pixie wings that sprout out of his back. Oh Felipe, <laughs> you're beautiful. I no, throw. no, I'm fucking, no, I'm not, dude. What's going on? Felipe, can you see anything above us? Fly! And I want to, I want to toss him up into the sky. In a, in a panic, he starts to fall, and then you hear like the flaps. Of, he's like, all that. Oh no! What do you see with your special, beautiful oh, eyes, I'm Felipe? I'm gonna be sick. Oh, I'm gonna be sick, man. What's going on? What is happening? Do I? To me? I check the others. Do they have wings? I'm have about wings. to tell you guys. Oh no! Fucking shot! Really? Roll, roll a D8, all three of you. Oh, that's so fucking wacky. I got a three. Is that instant death? One of these is a D8. Okay, so what's all your rolls? I know Chip was a one. One. I got a four. Three. As you look over and look at Jay, you notice that she has. Wait, wait a minute. Am I balding in a spot here? <laughs> no, you don't notice that, but you do notice that you have long whiskers like those of a cat. Oh. Oh, oh no! But, but they're—I mean—they—they they fit your face, dude. Now, okay, can you give me whiskers? Now it's it kind of made something funny. So for it. you, actually, a glittering mist constantly surrounds you now. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's just—it's like a little, like, like almost like a glittering shimmer yeah, just surrounds you. Like it's gonna be glitter, Bob. His perfume. <laughs> God. And what was your roll? One. Chip, your eyes swirl with iridescent colors. Oh, that's cool. All the time. Chip, you don't look good. Did you what eat do you mean? something? What are these? Poke the whiskers. Get, I get, I get, I get near you, uh, Jay, and all of the glitter is touching the whiskers. It's, Jay, are you in there? Are you in there? I feel everything. <laughs> I think I'm allergic to whatever this is. <laughs> Does the, do my eyes feel like anything, or it's just like? No, no, you just you you don't actually notice, but they they can see it whenever they look into your eyes. It's like a swirl. It's like a slow lollipop kind of swirl that Whoa. just kind of happens in in Chip's eyes. Whoa. Are you like okay? Yeah. That can't be healthy. Why can't be healthy? Why are you so close to God my face? God damn, you could play Twister with those orbs. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Oh man, hey, I think I see something. What is it, Felipe? <laughs> Over there. 
uh, I, I run in the direction that he that he mentions. Okay. I like I'm like falling over all the fucking like stupid glitter and shit. What are you guys doing? Come on! I'm f- trying to follow chips. I'm looking. I'm looking. Why for are the you? First, why are like, you so sprightly? As you, I mean, as you start moving, it kind of trails behind you. It's not the, in your face or anything like oh, that. Okay. I just like being alert. I'm looking for it. the first living creature I can find. Okay. Uh, you don't find any living creatures right away. I mean, you do pass by like small bunny rabbits that hop over yeah. you know very beautiful flowers that grow out but you start running in the direction that felipe is pointing towards and he's flying above and as you get deeper and deeper into this forest a trail begins to form it's almost like the trees themselves are moving to sort of envelop a path for you yeah and this wow. sound this this uh, musical rhythmic sound gets louder and louder but we're gonna end the session there before I tell you what you're coming up on. Ah, man. We are going to end the session Apple, there. we're going to save you or something. And reveal oh, it for dude. the next session. This is so cool, you're man. I'm so excited. On. What the fuck? That was cool. awesome. That's crazy. Dude, this was our first this was our first of many episodes this week and I'm yeah, so happy to be is, a person. this is the first roll of the week. Oh. Oh. Um yeah, it's going to be fucking cool. Uh, how are you guys feeling? Crazy. Oh, I'm, I'm feeling, feeling good. so good. I, yeah, and so yeah. are you. Leave a comment. Leave, like, leave a review. Interact with, rate us with on the show iTunes. in some way. Rate us give five us stars. Money. Give us money on patreon.com. Give us slash money. Slash just roll with it. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. 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 Don't tell lies. Just make... No, don't, don't make lies. lies just lies. make lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, hey guys, just wanted to thank our $50 patrons for this month. That includes Okerberos, did someone say Colin? I'm butt flusting. Agar Steeljaw, Beans, Wolfie, Jaden Grant, Pippin the Oracle, Just Gherkin, Mega Psionics, Payne Lambert the Snazziest, Sweet Cacti, Baka7, Cal's the Folded Pizza Zone, The Awesome Man, Fly Guy, Amber Curry, I See Sharky, Man Made Imp, Megu, your personal gesture, Jordan Darlin, Red Sus over Paradise, Sleepy Weather, Mr. Nacho, Wild James, Clever Everest, Rikate, Kev Senpai, Spell Icop, Finura, Mitchell Iverson, Mithril Gear 417, Bosco, Brand Archer, Riker Zinn, Artemis Loves You, Definitely Not a Turtle, Everett Stoker, Probins, Netven, Deathclaw, Scarab5, Sandy007, Cheshire, Lublin Blob, Zerberus, Elvish Cyborg, Alyssa, Dreamstrider, Lord Ticklefish, Spinyax, Buttery Toast, Raytheon, Xpoogaloo, Serene is actually a skeleton, Material Seaweed, Hetty Loves Bites, Gillian's Biggest Fan, Corn Your Comet, Jumpiest Venus34, Your NB Pal Val, Riker Kurotu, Nonzalotl, Jared WI Enjoyer and Jay Newell. Thank you guys so much for supporting the podcast as much as you do. We would have not been able to do just roll with it like this, just roll the week with this set and everything if it weren't for you guys. So thank you so, so much. It was such a cool experience to do, and I really hope you enjoy the episodes that came out of it. And we will see you next week. <laughs>